Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the Seas ATL Don checking in. Today, we're going to test out the Crepitec wipes versus the Rejuvenator wipes. We are able to get both at SneakerCon, get samples from, from both vendors. We're going to try out the Crepitec on one shoe and the Rejuvenator on another shoe, see which one works the best or if they work equal to each other. We're going to let you know. I also picked up this from Kais Omar's booth, a Dream Crew collab, only available during the sneaker con tour that they're doing. But so we're going to use the Rejuvenator on the left shoe and use Crepitec on the right shoe. They're not extremely dirty or anything, but we're going to try them on the soles. The sole of the right one. You know, it's got some blackness from walking around sneaker con this past Saturday. And same with the left one. Alright, let's try out the Crepitec, see how it works on this right, right one right quick. It's my first time using either product, so I have not experienced the results of either one, so... It has kind of like a rough texture. I don't know if the camera can pick up. They have like these little like rigid dots, which I guess would help get in there to get the dirt. Seems to be working pretty good. A couple spots that won't wipe off instantly. I wore these for probably about eight hours at Sneaker Con. I wasn't there the entire eight hours, but I had these on you know, before I got there and the remainder of the day. So they got about eight hours worth of wear on them. It's having to put a little bit of elbow grease in a couple spots. I think it worked very well. This is the result of the Crepitec. We'll do a different camera view so you can see it up closer. Alright, didn't, didn't take hardly any time at all. Now we're going to try the Rejuvenator on the left shoe. So far, they both look identical. This has little blue dots, similar to the crep wipes. Let's see if we can tell any difference.
They seem to be pretty much equal so far. They both clean up very nicely. This shoe seems to be cleaning a little faster, but it may not have the equivalent amount of dirt that got on the other one. So, gotta take that into consideration. down the white parts of the sole all right that's the left shoe that we use rejuvenator on we'll show from another camera angle up close just so you can see um, I think I got this shoe clean a little faster, but once again, it might be because I may have had more dirt on the right one. But uh, the end result, I believe the Crep Protect wipes and the Rejuvenator wipes are pretty much the same thing. Equivalent. They seem like they have the same texture. I don't know if they use the same ingredients or not. But it seems to both do the same job. So I would say either product would be good to use on your shoes. These are my Adidas NMD R2s that I got from DTLR not long ago. I wore these at SneakerCon Atlanta. But uh, so I would suggest whichever one you prefer would work the same. You know, if you're a hype beast and going for the brand name, then I think Crep Protect's probably more more of a popular name than Rejuvenator. But I think Rejuvenator is you know you know right on the heels of Crepitech popularity wise in my opinion but either one would be the same job so if you're looking to save money whichever one costs the less that's the one I'd probably go with but uh, so is there a winner between the two I would say no it's a tie uh, hope that you like this video please give a big thumbs up Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And until next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace. This is the right shoe we use Crepitec on. Midsole's nice and white. Bombs came out very nice. Looks good as new. There's the left shoe we use Rejuvenator on. Midsole's nice and white. So looks good as new. So, I say it's a tie between the Crepitec and Rejuvenator on the test on the Adidas NMD R2s. Yeah.